Hello, YouTube friends. This is Jay, aka The Flaming Barrel, coming at you with another Talking Heads tutorial via request. The song is Slippery People, which is probably the easiest of all Talking Heads songs to play because it just repeats itself over and over and is all based around the same position. This song uses a lot of what is referred to as double stops, which are diatonic chords or chords with just two notes, usually on the higher pitch strings. Not to be confused with power chords, which are typically on the lower pitch strings and are always the same intervals apart. Double stops are most popular in blues and funk music, but are also found in nearly every genre of music with guitar. Check it out. The first guitar we hear is a chord stab with some heavy flanging. I'm using a Boss BF3 flanger pedal shown here. Any flanger will work. The settings on your flanger should be a nice and slow rate, a lot of residents but not quite maxed out, and the depth about 75%. Or if your pedal has a dry wet, set it to about 75% wet. The chord you play over this part is an A minor. The appropriate inversion would be 7th fret on the D string and 5th fret barred all the way down to the high E. You don't need to emphasize the high E really or else it takes over the rest of the other tones. The D, G, and B strings are most important here. The entrance sounds like this. <laughs> the verse is the meat of the song and the chorus will be the potatoes. We play A minor fingered the exact same way as the entrance chord, only go ahead and emphasize the high E. The rhythm can be played a number of ways, but I always like to assign syllables to the rhythms so they stick in my head easier. For the verse, I might think the rhythm She got tat two, 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 repeated. But after every four measures, or after seven she got tat twos, you want to add the 5th fret on the G and B strings, up to the 7th fret on G and B, then back down to the 5th fret again, then down to the 7th fret on the D string while keeping your 5th fret held on G and B, and then back to just that 5th fret on the G and B strings. The rhythm is something like ba di da do da The verse looks and sounds like this. I will play it slow at first, and then at the normal tempo. Very good. The chorus is another A minor, fingered the same as before, but go from the 7th fret on G and B down to the 5th fret on G and B, then two strokes on the 7th fret of the D string while keeping the 5th fret on G and B barred. Then you strum two hits of straight A minor, accenting the 5th fret on the high E. For the chorus rhythm, I think of it in terms of the song lyrics. Turn like a wheel for the 7577 and all right for the straight A minor hits. There's a cutesy little synth line for the breakdown of the song where there is no guitar, but then to get out of the breakdown back into the verse, in the Stop Making Sense version, David Byrne plays dot doo da ticky ticky doo da The dot doo da is played two hits on the seventh fret on G and B to one hit on the fifth fret on G and B. The ticky ticky part goes back to the seventh fret, but is palm muted on the G and B again. 
then the last duda is just seventh to fifth fret on G and B again. Then you go right back to the verse. That's it, folks. You'll be doing your future selves a giant favor if you don't use tabs and force yourself to use your eyes and your ears. There's many different ways of playing the same guitar parts, but you will find that some ways make more sense than others. And the more you learn with your sense, the more you will be inclined to picking up the guitar parts on your own in no time at all. Thanks for watching and keep your comments and requests coming. Yeah!